Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Game Poke and today it's a gaming pickups vid. But it is also some questions I want to throw your way. Some shit I would like you to be honest about the channel and stuff. But before we get on to that, yeah, we'll get on to the latest gaming crap that I happen to have picked up. So let's just get straight to that. First things first is a very simple one. It's a book called Retro Games. I got it for three quid. Which doesn't fill me with confidence that it's a good book. I already know that the title is wrong here, where it says, Profiling the best titles from the golden age of gaming. Best titles. See that? Best titles. I haven't read it fully, but I flicked through. It doesn't appear to be much in the way of Master System games, or in fact anything in the way of Master System games, which makes me think that it's not the best titles so much as missing them. Next thing I got is something that'll make you fucking laugh. I was in Tesco's this morning, if you're from America and you don't know what Tesco's is, I don't think you have it out there. It's a supermarket. I was there this morning getting my lunch for work and I spotted this. The Detective Pikachu DVD. I haven't seen it yet! I literally got it today. Uh, it's got the um, special Pokemon trainer card inside, but the thing that really funny is my son is a big fan of Pikachu. I thought he would love to see this. Ten quid buy that. I get home, my missus has bought a copy as well. It's like, fuck, now we have two. Great minds think alike, I guess. Sheer fluke. The good thing is, now I have one, and the kids can have one to trash, because, well, let's face it, children are shit. Next thing is something that I'm really looking forward to unwrapping. That's right, I haven't unwrapped it yet. Today is mine and my wife's anniversary. Uh, wedding anniversary. We've been married four years. We've been together for nearly nine and she's got me this. Look at that. Resident Evil 2 vinyl. I haven't opened it yet. It's still in the uh, cellophane, so I can't wait to open this. I say I can't wait to open this. What I really mean is I can't wait to fucking play it. It's going to be awesome. I have the Resident Evil 3 soundtrack digitally, but I don't own any Resident Evil soundtrack physically. Well, until now carefully take this thing off because I think it's cool and I want to keep it. I didn't realise it was a separate thing. This little bit here I should show you rather than show no one. Do you? Yeah, that comes off. So, come on. There we go. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that fucking liquor there. Evil, evil looking bastard. That incidentally is what I look like with sharp teeth rather than the British ones I have. Yeah, I know we Brits have a reputation for having shit teeth. Ooh! I do, ooh, will I be able to get that? Look. Can you see? You can see, right? It's a motherfucking police station! <laughs> Fuck the police station. Oh. Oh. Looky, looky. Oh, and what does it say on it? Hold it there. Ink ribbon. That is fucking clever. That is so fucking clever. The other one says ink ribbon too, in case you were uh, interested. Side A, side B, side C, side D. It's 31 tracks. The only thing is because they're gaming soundtracks, you know, a lot of them are probably like a minute long, which is a bit of a pisser, but I can't wait to play this. Yay! Giddy. If you're wondering what I got her, this video will probably come up before she gets to see it, so sorry, I'm not going to say on camera. I'll say another time in case you're wondering. I also recently got a couple of uh, 3DS games. This one is a game that when it came out, um, originally, way back when, it cost, I want to say, 40 quid. And you know, I wanted the game, but I didn't want the game 40 quid worth, if that makes any sense. And after a while, it finally went down in price. And for the longest time, it seemed to hover around 35 quid, 35 quid. Apparently, it eventually hit 25 quid, because that's what its old price sticker is on here. But I got it for 12 quid. I got Bravely Second. I've wanted this game for ages just because it looks so cool. I know it's got some mixed opinions, but I don't care. I wanted to try it myself. And for 12 fucking quid, I finally can. So I hope that's going to be awesome. I'll show some little pictures here of what the game looks like so you can see why I'm so enticed into trying it. 
Yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. I don't... Who was it that said it had problems? Was it Pro Jared? I can't remember. The next game is one that... Well, fuck it. <laughs> Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. The only Fire Emblem game I owned before this was the first one on Game Boy Advance. It's a great game, but it's a little bit eh, long-winded. But it was the first of the series, so you've got to give it a break. This Argos is trying to get rid of all of their 3DS stuff, slowly. They're not telling people about it, but they are doing it. I got this game for fucking 15 quid. But yes, I will have some of that. Anyway, the next thing is a weird one. Um, recently, a viewer... Name there, because I'll probably say it wrong, so I'll just put it there. Uh, he was selling his Sega Saturn games, and he asked me if I was interested in any of them. And two of them, I thought, yeah, they look they look fun. All right, fuck it. How much for them? He said a more than fair price. Sent him the money. He sent them over. And then he messaged me saying, by the way, please do not open the box until it gets there to you, because I've added something as a surprise. I've got the box here. Um, I've opened it, but I haven't looked in it yet. The only reason I opened it beforehand is because there's a shit ton of sellotape. And I thought, I don't really want to spend 30 minutes on camera of me trying to unwrap the cunt. So I got a knife to it. Now then, let us see what's actually in here. Now, ah, what we got? Super Mario Sunshine Strategy Guide. Well, I'll be. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much, mate. I love strategy guides, they're awesome. I won't lie, I haven't played Super Mario Sunshine because I've heard it's crap. <laughs> I, yeah, that's the only reason I haven't played it. Well, that and I haven't found it for a good deal. This strategy guide looks really colourful, really cool. Let's have a look, see if I can get bits on the camera. Yeah, I think... Fuck it, I'm going to have to start looking out for the game now. Damn. Next thing is something that's... Oh, bollocks. There's another thing in here and it's wrapped up. Hang on a minute, I'm... Yep. Woo! Woo Master System game! Fuck off. Time Soldiers. I don't own that. Well, I do now, but I didn't own it before. Awesome. My computer's gone black. Fuck you. Time Soldiers! I've not played it even. Yay! Oh, I want to stop the video and Google the fuck out of it and then play the fuck out of it. Mm. Oh, no, wait. I don't know anything about the game. Because, you know, just because I'm a big Master fan doesn't mean I know about everyone. But I know I've looked this one up before. Because the name rings a bell. You know what? So, if you would rather see a Let's Play of it for my first time playing it, let me know in the comments and I'll make it so. So I'll hold off. If not many people are interested, then I'll play the game myself. But if you are interested, then you can see me play it, so... Right! Anyway... Fuck. Shut up, Tom. What else is in the box? Ah, the Saturn games. Oh, okay, first one. First one is one that looked interesting to me. It's a 2D platformer, I think, and it's a strange one. Lots of people have rated it high, but a lot of people have rated it low, so it's like... Is this good or is this crap? I hear it's difficult as fuck. It's, um... Johnny Bazooka Tone. I have said that right. Yeah, the guy that sold it to me, um, Git Tanu, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Um, yeah, when he was showing me the list of all the games, I was looking through them all, of course, and I had seen the name of this one and thought, what the fuck is that? So I just uh, typed it into Google, Google image the hell out of it, and thought, yeah, 2D. Sega Saturn's really good at 2D, so this would be a good one. A lot of the games he was selling were, um, first, per first person shooters, which, as we all know, you don't really care. Uh, uh, not interested in that at all. That's Bill Thorpe's thing. He's well into that. I'm not. But platformer, that's a me. Also, I've nearly forgot to mention, he's got custom plastic casings around the actual game. See? So that's really cool. The, like I say, the guy loves Sega Saturn. You would be surprised that he's selling any games that he loves them so much, but I think he's selling them for uh, the sake of his family. Which is the best possible reason to sell your collection, is to help you. Your family, your kids, wife, everything like that. Um, I'm afraid I don't like my family enough to do that. I sell my children before I sell my master system. The next game I'm about to show you 
is one that I'm generally scared to show you. Because... It's our newest requested for it to be a Let's Play. I know you're going to want it to be a Let's Play because you enjoy seeing me suffer. I think Fat Man proved that. As well as Super Hide Lied. For those of you... My phone just blinged, piece of shit. For those of you that remember the Super Hide Lied video... You guessed it. It's Virtual Hide Lied. The worst one in the franchise. Fuck. Yeah, I bought it off him thinking I have to see if it's as bad as they say. And I knew deep down it'd make a good video. Even if it never got fucking played again. Which is very likely. Yeah. So, so there's that. And you can expect that in a video coming very, 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 very soon. But in another one that I want to make a Let's Play of, this is the game that I told you I recently got. In the Fat Man one, I said at the end, I've recently got a game I really want to show you, and I haven't even played it myself yet. I was saving it. I don't know if I'll do this before or after Virtual Highlight. Um, we'll see how I feel. But these will be the next two games. This one is Soul Star on the Mega CD. This game looks the tits. Here's a couple of images of what it looks like. The reason why I got this is two reasons. One, I was looking through my Sega CD collection and it dawned on me that I have done fuck all coverage of the Sega CD. I mean fuck all. I own a couple of good games and the rest are either meh or plain shite. Um, my friend Ian gave me a load of games but to be honest with him and you, none of them were really epic. And that bugged me. I wanted an epic game on the Mega CD. And then I found this. I'd never heard of it before. It's an expensive game. Expensive-ish. And I got a fucking good deal. 30 quid. The disc is bloody immaculate. This is awesome. Uh, old price tags. And I know a lot of people that take the old price tags off, but I find it interesting to see what a game was worth at some random point. Don't ask me why, I just do. But I am so looking forward to playing Soul Star. So I've got one awesome game to do in a Let's Play soon, and one fucking crap game. Yay! Last game is one I got for the PS4. Locks Quest. It's £10.99, brand new in-game. Morbid curiosity. It looks a bit like... Huh, how do I put it? It looks like Metal Slug meets Final Fantasy Tactics, and that can't be bad, can it? I mean it just fucking can't. What's it sound about? I'll read that for you. Because I haven't played it yet. Build defense and battle against the clockwork horde in this 2D action RPG tower defense hybrid. <sighs> Experience a gripping story which unfolds as you progress through 75 days of warfare. Oh what, does the game have a time limit or some bollocks? 75 levels perhaps? Eh. Aided by a collection of turrets, traps and special attacks. Sounds good, doesn't it? Anyway, those are all the gaming things that I have recently acquired. I want to give a huge thank you to Guitar Noob. Sorry again, but I'm pronouncing it wrong. I know I'm shit. Thank you very much for the cool stuff you've given me. I cannot wait to fucking... <laughs> this Master System, man. I want to fucking try Time Soldiers. Mm, I will. I will fucking hold off to see if people want to Let's Play or not. So there's a potential free Let's Plays that we got out of everything today, so that's pretty fucking sweet. But I want to go over some questions aimed for you, the viewers. But now I would like to go over something I want to throw your way to you, the viewers. Um, I used to do these kind of videos every so often where I do a video dedicated to asking you questions of what you want to see. I felt like I haven't done that in a while, and I don't want to steer off course of what people would actually enjoy. So I feel it's important to ask this. Um, First question is one, I, I wanted to do this for a long time. In the early days of this channel, the first Let's Plays I did were the ones I did with my friend Pete, uh, the Brown Trousers Times one, which was all one game, and then I did a Nuzlocke Challenge. For those of you who don't know what Nuzlocke Challenge is, it's a Pokemon game with some very shitty rules to make the game very hard, but a lot more enjoyable, a lot more challenging. Because let's face it, Pokemon games today are piss easy. And they were easy then, really, if you knew what you were doing, I suppose, but they 
they were too easy at times. When you, you get to my age and you've played them all like fuck, it's a bit boring. The Nuzlocke Challenge fixes that. It makes it very fucking hard, very easy to fuck it all together and completely screw the game up. So I did Let's Play series of the Nuzlocke Challenge, and to make it even harder for myself, I didn't play Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, I played Pokemon Green, not Leaf Green, Pokemon Green, so I was playing the Japanese card. I couldn't read a fucking thing, and I managed to do the bloody Let's Play, across 20 videos, I think. Um, back then, I got random views, like part one would get a few, part two a lot less, and then part three would get a ton. Some random bollocks like that, the numbers never made any sense. But in the past when doing Let's Plays, uh, a part two to a video hasn't always done epic. I would love to do another Nuzlocke challenge. I think I would want to do it on Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire or Emerald because I don't know them games very well. The reason I was able to do Pokemon Green, the Japanese games, because I know Pokemon Red so fucking well. So, I was going off of memory that helped me with the bits I couldn't fucking read. I wouldn't be able to do that with Ruby, because I don't know the game for shit. I didn't like it back in the day, I really fucking didn't. But I think that would make a cool Nuzlocke challenge, where let's say once a week, as well as my other videos, I do part of a Nuzlocke as well. So you'd be getting one extra video a week. I would really like to do that, I think it would be cool, but I don't want to do it if it's going to hurt my channel. You know, I've worked... <clears throat> Excuse me, I've worked quite hard at this channel. I don't want to do anything that I think would kill it. So, I want your opinion. Would you be interested in a Nuzlocke challenge? If not, let me know. Uh, if half of you in in are interested but half of you ain't, maybe I would do the Nuzlocke challenge anyway, but not on my channel. My wife is going through a lot of... Um, she's come to a stop on her channel at the moment because she's configuring everything she wants to do. She's decided she's not that into Let's Plays, making them, but she loves the plushy stuff and she wants to do more live stuff like that. So she wants to do them things and because I already help her so much on her channel anyway, well I, I will and I have, you know, um, I asked her would she be willing for me to do them Let's Plays and put on her channel then she's got another thing to help keep the channel progressing while she's working stuff out and planning her own stuff because she can't do videos weekly like I do or how often do I do them? Every three to four days I do a video. She can't do that but if I did Nuzlocke on her channel then that would help towards her thing I suppose. You get where I'm coming from, I'm rambling a bit on that but let me know what you think about the whole Nuzlocke thing. Be honest, I really want your opinion. Another thing is that um, the Sega Head episodes, uh, I'll tell you now, I'm planning the Halloween one. Yes, I'm doing a Halloween one because I fucked it and couldn't do one last year because Pete, my mate Pete, got married at that time and I was best man. Couldn't do it. I couldn't swing a big video at that time. And I thought after I've done that, maybe I'll do a Christmas video. Uh, maybe. I'll tell you now that if I did do a Christmas one, it would be Nights Into Dreams, and of course, it's Christmas edition. It would be that. So, if you're interested in the Christmas one, let me know, because I'm undecided on that one. The Halloween one I'm fucking doing, Christmas, I don't know. But finally, for a Sega Head episode, uh, I've noticed that I'm doing the same sort of thing I was doing with the Let's Plays. I'm doing a lot of really cool games and really weird shit and obscure shit and shit I find interesting and all that. I'm not covering that much in the way of truly horrifically bad games. So I want you to tell me what game do you think I should do for a Sega Head episode? Whoever the, seems to have brought up the most interesting one, that's what I'll do. Uh, there's only two rules. It's got to be a Sega game doesn't matter what console, it could be on the Wii if you want, really doesn't matter. Uh, and the game has to be phenomenally shit. Do me a favour though, when you're looking into a game you think is shit, think to yourself, is this the sort of game where you can play for two minutes and then that's it, or is it just continuously terrible? Because of course if I'm going to do a video on it, if there's only like a little bit bad of it, or it's just something you play for five minutes, then I'm only going to have like a couple of minutes to talk about, so it's not worth doing it big video one, if you get what I'm saying. Sega, shit game, let me know what you think. Please, everyone, answer the questions I've thrown at you today. I really, 
really want to know your opinion on all them things. Also, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new cool shit I got. I'm going to play it all, but unfortunately, because the Let's Plays, I can't play it yet. Oh, God, away. Joys of being a YouTuber. You would think that doing a gaming channel meant you get to game all the time. Fucking doesn't. It means I've got to watch that bastard blue screen while shit renders all the time. Anywho, thank you very much for watching. Please answer the questions, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you next time.